how we do it <laughs> yes hallelujah unto Abe Yehua. greetings family greetings to every one of us hope we are all doing great on this special day so what make it special and this is why it's special for you and I to circle around Abe Yehua's 
it on a blessed throne. Uh -huh. And to listen to his eternal divine blessed voice. So, that is going to be a huge purifying effort in your soul, spirit, and body. As for me, it's a cleansing, fiery cleansing. Removing those things that is not planted by Abbe Yahuwah and install that of Abbe Yahuwah that is going to lead us into eternal rest inside us. That's it. <laughs> I love Abbe Yahuwah so much. And again, the eternal royal law, as we listen to Abbe Yahuwah, eternal blessed voice, is also going to be making us wise and making us a judge. Yes. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, no, rather 2 Corinthians chapter 6, make it so clear that the saint is the one to judge the world, going to judge the world. So we are judge. <laughs> so it's going to make us a judge, holy judge, in every matter, you know, that come across our way, without sentiment, without being biased, going to be speaking the very mind of the Yahuwah, yes, to establish that very matter you come across yes are we ready to do that because another matter just surface are we ready to speak the very mind of the yahuwah and this is going to be helping our brothers and sisters mm -hmm. and this is how we also becomes you know the keeper of our brothers and sisters say be your brother's keeper all right feed them with the eternal truth Hallelujah. Thank you, Abbe Yahuwah, for you are here. Thank you for giving us your wealth, King Yahushua Hamashiach. Thank you for leaving your spirit within us. Yes, the Ruach HaKodesh. I love him so much. I love you too, Abba. And I love King Yahushua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. All right, now, family. Let's look into why we are here again. Okay. We want to speak the very mind of the Yahuwah. Okay, here we are in the heavenly courtroom of the Yahuwah with this powerful message titled for you and me. John Sule Otoba is a Muslim. Why Sule Kokoma like so much? Sule Mata Amos loved says. Sule Solomonistic. Yes, I want to look into these very four points. Is a title, but is a point. Mm? The number one is Sule Otobolistic. Is a Muslim. And two, why Sule Kokomalistic love a light so much? Three, Sule Mata Amos loved sex. Oh, Sule Solomonistic. <laughs> okay, let me just clear that one out of the word is Sulema. It simply means Salama. Sulema in Arabic, in Islamic words, simply means Salama. All right, who is Salama? We will look into Sol Solomonistic anointing <clears throat> because the anointing is still here today. So, first of all, let us now begin to add the royal law precept upon precept. Line up on line, so we're gonna take here a little, also take the a, a little as the royal law command you and I to do. So let's get started. All right, now, so we're, we, we want to start walking our way from here. Mm -hmm. John chapter 8, verses 32. When I listen to audios, to conversation, how Jesus says we are so much you not know, that spirit to have sex with on that age. When I see the desperation, you know, ah, I say, okay, and I conclude this situation. I heard this. I even have it, but I'm not going to be playing any of it because it's so long. The conversation between Amos and uh, Martha. Martha is a girl. Martha is a girl, or rather a house girl in Chesley Ma's house, okay? She is a house girl. We call them the local language, house girl. That is May that is has mate, okay. For a better understanding, we that we call it has girl, and the Amos was also a has boy. 
all that just lay mass roof oh, now i want to listen to that i said the only way i can make sense of this the only way we're going to be taking one and plus it with two and bring out sense from it is for us to go back to the origin of this very pastor ma uh, what do they call him john c is for us to go to yeah his ori orientation his you know origin his beginning his start he have a beginning okay he has a beginning this is the only way we're going to draw out sense from it. Because when I listen to some, when I read, excuse me, some you know, comments, oh no, that one breaks my heart. The guy pleaded with the policy that uploaded that video on YouTube. He said, brother, please stop uploading something like this. This one actually can make a baby believer fall out of faith. When will you begin to listen to conversation? Is this one you call man of God? Is this one you said is leading you to heaven? This dirty rat? Is this one lay hands on you? You believe actually on Joseph Lema? That is teaching you the ways of eternal rest? Oh no, the guy said, I'm the one adding all this. The guy just commented and said, please, brother, stop uploading video like this because it's going to make a baby believer fall out of faith including the mori herself mori said because i got it from our channel somebody even sent me no somebody yeah somebody sent it to me said come and listen to your enemy again or not that my bug just as says and yeah, so so when i click it okay then i entered when i entered mori's page and i began to see unbelievable conversation Ah, oh, now that one blew me off. Okay, even Maria herself said, when she also listened, she now said, if somebody is not a doubly rooted in faith in the world, in faith, okay, he said, he said quickly gonna say, the God, Johnson Suleiman, is pretty sure all these pastors, these cabas, you know, all these charlatans. Is the is the God that they are pleasure? I'm the I'm the one adding my own. But what she said, she now said, you're gonna be you know saying this God is not real. That's what she said. Okay, yes, that is that is what it is. I can't just slam my you know doing all this nonsense and still be doing nonsense miracle and still get you know blessed or rich that he even have thousands of dollars. He's even using dollars in Nigeria. He paid. Mike Davis of a sixty thousand US dollars. We had I have all the conversation. It's so long, eh? Almost two hours. From the Cocoma. Cocoma listing. Hey, where am I gonna start from? I, anyway, let's start from somewhere. Let's walk it all away from John chapter eight, verses thirty two. And Yesha knows the truth, and only the truth shall set you free. Now the truth you don't you refuse to know. It's going to enslave you in eternal domination. The truth, because only tr it's not cast about, just knows the truth in every single matter. Dig into the truth, therefore you will be set free. But the truth you refuse to dig into is, is leading you into eternal bondage. It's going to put you into eternal domination, the place you don't even want to be. That is the truth you refuse to look into the very one that is going to be, or should I be bringing huge deliverance, cleansing, you know, purifying effort inside of you, the very one you neglected. Are you ready to look into the truth? The very one that is going to bring eternal cleansing. So let's put some, uh, that same John again, chapter 4, verses 24. Yehovah is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Again, in truth, so the only way you're gonna be a heavenly worshiper is for you to do it in truth, and this truth you refuse to look into is not bringing no deliverance, it's not bringing you no award, rather, it's, it's gonna sentence you to where you never even want to be. Because the only way for you to say, I am a worshiper, I am a singer. I am a believer, is for you to do it in truth. And what? In the spirit. So let's the put some more. Mm? <laughs> now, that's a chapter, John chapter 40, verse 6. Yahushua saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, 
and the life no one no man cometh unto the father but by me so now you know truth is a deity and now what is the opposite of truth is a lie and we also know lie is a deity you are of your father the devil that is clear isn't it now the truth you need to know it is for you to look into every matter through Yahushua through the mindset of Yahuwah which is the word of Yahuwah which is a deity Yahushua and what is the spirit you're going to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, the way you are speaking, he said, Now, when you go to anywhere, you are not the one speaking, it is the spirit of Yahuwah that resonates in you. He is, is the one that is going to be speaking now through you. That is when you know the truth, and the Holy Spirit is going to be dispersed right away to resonate in you. Every matter, as you begin to look into it, the Holy Spirit is the one now speaking through you because the one that brings about conviction. To convince you, to convert you, to cleanse you, to deliver it is the works of the Holy Spirit if you resident in you. So which part are you? The truth you refuse to know is bringing you to a place you never wish to be. So try and know the truth. Are we ready to look into the truth in this matter? Without sentiment, without the love of man, without being biased, but just look into the truth in it. Fear for deliverance will be coming. But if you fail to do that, you're going to enter bondage. Yes, and that body is going to sentence you to eternal torments, eternal unrest, eternal punishment. The place we call, or rather the royal local, link of fire. I saw this message when they sent it to me. I listened. Her moral video is so long. But I take the pain. Some is five hours. Some is four hours. Hey, my father, I say, I'm not going to be spending all my day here. But I do because I want to, I want to know. I want to really know what, what transpired. How come about? I knew when this Mike Davis, another demo, came out to say he apologized. But he never, you know, debunked that. Just let's say never slept with his wife. He never debunked that. That one still retained. I said, are you surprised? I, would, uh, I said, of course. The matter is settled already inside her with much of dollars. And Cocombalistic came to confirm that. <laughs> that also, oh, now. Anyway, we want to just break it the way it is. But a time will come when I will review all this message and with all this voice, voice note. I downloaded even the owner of it, Maury, said we should make it go, you know, flies in the four corners of the earth. We should spread it all over through our sub everywhere. But I download mine. So whenever I went to upload almost two hours, eh, I'm going to be doing some cutting and cutting and bring all the record, the audio test message, screenshot and all that of Justice Listen. I'll put it all together, then blow it on air. Now, we want to look like the first title. What did they say? Sole Autobolistic is a Muslim. Listen, Ecclesiastic chapter 1, verses 9. The thing that I had been, it is, it is that which shall be, and that which is done, is that which shall be done, and there is nothing new under the heaven, no new thing, these things that has, we are seeing today has an origin, it has an origin beginning, it starts, because it said these people has no new tricks at all, it is what we just, what they used to do before, with a little, a, a little touch of it. <laughs> that is migration. That is upgrading. Upgrade. That's it. But it's what that is. is something that is already existing. So he said what exists in the beginning. Is what you are going to also see now. What is being done in the beginning. Is what is also going to be done now. There is nothing hiding away. Under this sun. Uh, let's take put some more. <laughs> Alright now. That's a chapter. That same chapter. Ecclesiastic chapter 12. Now we are in verses 14. For Yahuwah shall bring every work into judgment with every secret things. With what every secret thing. Whether it be good or whether it be evil. He said there is no secret things before Yahuwah. Everything you thought is a secret. He said it's going to be brought to the daylight and it will be judged whether it's good or evil. So let's take put some more before we let you know the very origin of this matter. 
part of the things that I exist before that is also the very one you are seeing now and also prior to the things that there is no secret under this seven that Yahuwah will bring them all to the broader light we take two accounts in the Old Testament let also get two accounts from the New Testament now look chapter 8 verses 17 for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest neither anything hide that shall not be uh, be a uh, no and eh, come abroad is anything you thought is a secret is already in the public domain yeah what has done it hmm? let's ask some more all right i'm sorry i quoted one from the new testament we return back to the old testament again okay i just want to add just one in the new testament so the other uh 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 preset is in the old again proverbs 26 also verses 25 through 26 i read when he speaketh Okay, you can take it from 24. Okay, 24. He that hates... Uh, okay, let me let me just go. Okay, he that hates uh, uh, discipline with his lips. Okay. And life up deceit within him. Okay, he that has assembled... Oh, my Abba. All right, now, 25. My focus point is on 26. But you can take it from 24 through 26. When he speaketh fell, believe him not. For... There are seven abominations in his heart. 26 now. Who, whoso hated is covered by deceit. Whose hatred, oh, I'm sorry, what am I doing? Whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be assured before the whole congregation. Now, these people that have these seven abominations in their heart, which is liars, okay, Joseph Sully says, he said, uh his whatever it cover okay let me take it again his hatred or whatever okay his okay where where is it his hatred is covered by deceit he hates you but he's gonna cover it with false love he's a liar but he's gonna cover it with false truth there is a lie but you're gonna be seeing it as truth what am i saying he's a killer he's a murderer but he's also going to be doing some nonsense help the very one you're going to be saying oh this guy is so good oh he built house for somebody oh he buy car for somebody oh he gives sixty thousand dollars to uh, davis mike he now also give forty thousand dollars to amos what did they do it for is to shut them down he said gave sixty thousand dollars to this one where well, i have it coco says and Kokoma also got paid for our China contaminated by, by Justice Lesses. Now he bought Kokoma Listic, he bought Amos, and he bought, uh, actually, he bought Mike Davis with $60,000. And he promised Amos and his brother $65,000. And he paid Kokomama for her uh, China, he himself contaminated. So now what brought out this, you know, matter to the public? You can't cover it. No, that is not true. I bet you want to expose that you want to do all this to cover it up. So he gave money. He promised uh, Amos and his brother that he's going to pay them $65,000. What was he doing it for? Immediately, Kokoma interviewed Mike David when he cried out that Joseph Lesser's bang bang, his wife. Immediately, he came out and uh, Kokomalistic interview this very guy and just and Amos came out and commented and said, Hey, 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 did I told you? Amos also came out to share his open. As soon as Joseph Lesser saw that right away, he said, Hey, oh, God, I don't finish. He paid this guy 60,000. And Kokomalistic, this one I told Kokomalistic, Mike David, Joseph Lesser, why did you pay $60,000 to Mike David? You just say, shut up. Yes, I bam bang your wife. Uh -huh. And so what? Just take the $60,000 and shut up your mouth. And it was so. And, okay, you must also do some record here about me. <laughs> and some test message about matter. Okay, now, I will also give, he shut them down. So that is the, what the scripture is saying. To cover his deceit. He covered it with false help. He knew what he's doing. Why did you do it all this time? Uh, he must not left your house. Why did you chase them most? It was also in this case. Okay, 26 now. Whoso hated is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be shown before the whole congregation. I mean, I'm saying it because I know the truth. So now let's add some more. 
Prior to the place we just read, Proverbs chapter 26, also verses 26, the very last verse is said, His wickedness is going to be, is going to be you know, manifest, it's going to be made known, or it's going to be shunned in the whole congregation, which means it's going to be seeing him, his wickedness. You're going to see it how Matthew chapter 7, verses 15 through 16, how are you going to know that this is wickedness, this is pure evil? How are you going to know that this translation is trying to cover up something? Why did you bribe Mike Davis with $60,000? And why did you give Amos also forty thousand? And why did you pay for Coco Mama listing uh, YouTube? You contaminate. We have all the audio. It was pure business. Okay, to shut them down. Okay, when Justice Lesses now saw that the matter died down already, died down already, he refused to pay the leftover twenty five because if he now he bought Coco Mama already, so Coco Mama is gonna be on his side. And actually, since the Coco Mama has been defending. You know, Justice Lee says, likewise, this, they are evil that the phrase also defending him. That is what it does. It's going to pollute everyone that indeed refused to learn the truth. Now, how do we know that uh, his, his wickedness is going to be shunned before the whole congregation? Matthew chapter 7, verses 15 through 16. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clo uh, clothing. But inwardly, they are ravening wolves. Are you going to know? Ye shall know not them by their fruits. Okay, do men gather grapes of thorns or fig leaves of ties? No. Snake give birth to snake. Okay, yes, rat give birth to rat. Lion give birth to lion. That's it. That's how we know this is where you come from. This is your place of origin. <laughs> your very identity. We want to trace it back to where you come from. So now, by now, we know that what Justice Lee says did is to cover up, and we know where he come from by his truth. Listen, I want to put some more now. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. But I'm going to be reading just 3 or 2. That ye be not, that ye, okay, now, nah, it's okay. 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin, there is a man of sin. What is sin? Because just a slim man, you alone, you only says scandal, says scandal, says scandal, says scandal, nonsense upon nonsense, nonsense upon nonsense, nonsense upon nonsense. Only you and you and you and you. Why you, 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 you? This one come on you bang bang. The other one come on you bang my wife. The other one so those to ballistic. The other one they did they, 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 they. Hey, matter you want to ah no no no. Oh one pr please break my heart. During the conversation of Amos and Martha, the very house girl of Justice Lee says, How is Justice Lee said we are negotiating pay hundred thousand? Negotiate to defy a little girl that is not up to age under age. And Amos not told Martha you have seen the for forbidden fruit today. Oh no, no one breaks me down. Remember for the forbidden fruit has an origin. <laughs> that one breaks my heart. And Emma said, it's still coming for you because you have already seen his nude. You saw his nude already. You saw his penis. That is the forbidden fruit that's still coming for you. Except you run away. This breaks my heart. Listen. A man of sin. Put your finger there. Okay, three, I take it. Let no man deceive you. Second Thessalonians chapter three. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verses three through four. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that they shall not come, except they come a falling away first. That man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. That man simply me is a phrase of something that has an origin. That man. He has a beginning. That a man. He have a start. That man. He begins somewhere. That man. is a man of sin. So what is sin? Alright now verses 4. Yes. It's second test in chapter 1 through 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped so that he as God sitteth in the temple of Yehovah, show himself as God. So who is the temple of Yehovah? It is you and me. And Jesus let us already sit on you that that refuse to know the truth about him as God in you. He's your helper. 
The, the people still press, press this nonsense. Ah, no. All right, now. First John chapter 3, verses 4. Remember, it said, is a man of sin. That man of sin. Is a that man of sin. First John chapter 3, verses 4. Whosoever committeth a sin, transgress also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin stop the flows of the royal law. It keep repeating it. It keep rep it has an origin. It stop the flow. It stop the finger of you. You are not to proceed in your life, which is the law. So sin. What is the definition of sin? Breaking the royal law. We put some. So we we'll return back to the origin of sin. We're gonna read mostly uh, Quran, excuse me, and their commentary. So here we are. This is the most trusted. Adif, uh, Adif of Islam, they are most trusted collection. Okay, so we are here in Sahih Muslim. Okay, Sahih Muslim, where is the book? Okay, uh, Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari also here. Okay, but I want to quote where I jotted down. All right, why did I push it up? <laughs> Sahih Muslim, uh, page. 2687 that is 206 okay well, now let me quote it the way it is sahih muslim 2687 i want to read from there and hear what that man or sin said over here okay now listen now mm, where is it prophet muhammad said i swear by him in whose hand is my soul if you were a people who did not commit sin Allah would have taken you away and destroyed you and replaced you with a people who would sin and then seek Allah's forgiveness so he could forgive them. Sahih Muslim 2687. So why is that? Why is sin breaking the royal law to stop that of Abayawa not to flow in your life and to bring about the opposer? He said the oppose is that man of sin. He exalts himself, he opposes, he exalts himself, and he's sitting in the house of Yehovah, the temple of Yehovah, which is you and I. He doesn't sit in me because I throw him out of my head already. Now listen, what is he? Breaking the royal law. Why does this lemma keep falling in mess, keep falling in mess, keep falling in mess, keep falling in mess? Him and him and him and him. Let's take put some more. We see, Allah said, if you were people that refuse to sin, he said, I will just destroy you and replace you with someone that is going to say, what is he? That is Allah. He said, if you refuse to break the royal law, if you refuse to put stop to the finger of your one not, not to flow, I will destroy you and I'll bring a better person that is going to do that for me. What is he? Stop it there. Handwriting of Abayu, not to work, which is a law. To take away the truth, hide away the truth from you and implant in you lie. This is how the nonsense of Joseph Lee says makes sense. Listen, I want to go to Sahih Bukhari where I quoted. However, okay, uh, where is the other one? I'm not here to follow their instruction. The second hadith tells us to ask forgiveness from Allah. How much Allah uh, forgive can be understood by following hadith? Someone committed a sin. Listen, I'm, someone committed a sin. And then said, Oh Allah, forgive me my sin. Allah said, My servant commit a sin, but knew that he is and but knew that he has he has a Lord who forgives sins and punishes sins. Then he committed the sin again and said, My Lord, forgive me my sin. Allah said, My servant committed a sin, but knew that he has a Lord. Who forgives a sins and punishes sin. <laughs> okay. Then he committed the sin again and said, My Lord, forgive me my sin. Allah said, My servant commit a sin, but knew uh, that he has a Lord who forgives a sins and punishes sin. Do as you will, for I have forgiven you. Sahih uh, Bukhari, book 175. Uh, uh, 07 and Sahih Muslim 2758. Keep ready. So, what is it saying? He said, Just go and do as he will. He said, You come in once, see four good times. Once, see you keep repeating this, keep repeating it. Four good times. Now, when you now came to this Allah 
four good times. What the Allah said the fourth one? What was Allah's response to you? He said, I'm forgiving you. You know you have a God that always, a Lord that always forgives your sin. So just go and do as he will. So what is Allah saying in the notion? Go and ravage the royal law. Anyhow you want to destroy it. Anyhow you want to turn it upside down. Anyhow you want to twist it. Just go and do that. Because you have a God or a Lord that forgives your sin. That is the nature of Islam. They keep repeating one iniquity. They keep repeating one wickedness. And Allah keeps telling them, go, keep on doing it. And if you refuse to do that, I'm going to destroy you. So, uh, uh, Joseph Sulema is a Muslim. He just came to cover up with Christianity. He's just a Muslim. He's Christian physically, but he, what is a Muslim, it is what they do over there. He still hold on to the practice of Islam. Everything he do he is found in Islam. That is the only way we can make use of his nonsense. Whereby the royal law makes it so clear. Anyone that keeps sinning, he said, you are of the devil. It's in First John chapter 2. He said, you are the devil. He said, this is how we know the seed of devil. This is how we know the children of destruction. This is how we know that they can never hold on to the truth. They will keep lying and keep breaking the royal law and keep sinning. Now, just Slema, after you have done that wickedness, Proverbs chapter 28, verses 13, says, He that cover ups, listen, he that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But whosoever confess, confess and forsake them shall have more sin. The royal law said, You can fall in torments, fine, but don't cover it up. Confess it. You have a sexual intercourse with a married woman with staphylococcus with Martha, with faith with mori with a uh, uh, many names we are called out uh, daniel uh, daniel okereke many and faith said she is not even number 80 this same faith is pregnant for him and this faith also said many women have just less children all over the world oh no where is the space to narrate all this matter now you see, you try to cover that up with money, you, sh you shall not prosper. But the royal law said, when you confess, your sin is forgiven. But your sin can't be forgiven because you blasphemed already. Hmm? Just listen as a blasphemer. So, but what are we doing? This is the only way we can make sense of his nonsense. We can make sense out of his nonsense. Why he keep falling into males? Why? That is the practice of Islam. Let's shift to another precept. Has to be another, be upon precept. Okay, we want to line it up again with Quran and the royal law. Now, First Timothy chapter four, verses two. Just let us know. Of course, what he's doing is bad. He knew it. He lies too much. He said too much like Quran. So, you know, <laughs> ask people to be lying quickly. Let's put that is where we are shifting into. And sex. I think I'm going to be narrating that one. Or I will do another one on the Shabbat and include it. Anyone I couldn't finish over here because I'm staying in the matter, I will just include it. Listen now, First Timothy chapter 4, verses 2. Speaking lies. Okay, no, we'll take it from one. Now the Spirit has, uh, speaketh expressly that in the latter times some with, uh, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seduce spirits and doctrines of devils. <clears throat> Two, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience sealed with a hot iron. Okay, now, you're speaking lies in hypocrisy. How do you speak lies in hypocrisy? You know you are a married man. You know you are a preacher. You shouldn't have been falling into all this mess. You knew it too well. But you still keep on you know, repeating it because you still hold on to Quran inside of you. You are still practicing the practice of Quran. They said it's an occult, but for me, I don't believe that because what is an, what is secret code? What is occultist? It's something you and I can never access, have access to if we are not in that same secret court. Okay? Now, Quran is in the public domain. It's only for you to go type noble Quran and translate. You're going to be reading it. So that is not, that is not an occult. And every practice of Jerusalem is in the Quran. Quran justify all. He justify all. Oh. oh no, should I title this part one? I don't know. And the royal law said, Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So what is opposite of truth? Lies, to tell lies. And the royal law keep repeating it. He never justify lies in any way. Thou shall not lie. Thou shall not lie. Thou shall not lie. Because lies simply mean deception. And lies simply mean bondage. Okay, when you believe a thing that is not, you're going to be banned with demons. Now, let's see, Quran said we should lie. 
there is the book that prof <laughs> the holy book of Quran. Now Quran chapter sixteen verses one hundred. You see, this is in there. You see now. Did you see that? Then you translate. This is the a translation in Arabic. Translate to English. Listen, I want to read Quran one hundred and uh, excuse me, Quran one. Quran chapter 16 verses 106. Whoever disbelieves in Allah after his belief, except what condition? Whoever disbelieves in Allah after his belief, except for one who is forced to renounce his religion while his heart is secure in faith, but whoso willingly open their heart to unbelief, Upon him, Allah will inflict you no know, destruction. Now, listen, commentary. Ibn Katia comment on this. Okay, he said, Whosoever you must not disbelieve Allah, you must believe Allah, but accept in one condition. Let's see the person that did that right also in Quran. Ibn Katia comment on it. They are very much trusted, you know. Uh, what are they scholar? What are they call them? Apologist. I don't know. Okay, now we read. This is an example in the case of one who utters statements of unbelief and verbally uh, agrees with verb <laughs> agrees with the idolaters because he is forced to do so by their uh, beating and abuse to which he is subject, but he but his heart refuses to accept what he is saying. Why he is in reality at peace. Now, what is he saying? Anything when you face their commentary said, their comment, those that comment on this said, you know, they are most trusted, you know, scholar said, the one, this one is uh, Tessi Ibekatia also said, you can lie in three ways. Okay, you can lie. When something is after you, somebody just carry it. Go renounce Allah or I blow off your head. Immediately you will renounce Allah. But inside of you, you are still Muslim. But physically, you are pagan now. And who is pagan? It is you and I. Because anyone, anyone that does not believe in Quran, you are a pagan before Allah. Me, I don't believe Quran. I don't obey that nonsense. To me, it's total garbage. Why? Because five pillars that build my salvation. Allah said it's not true. Quran chapter 4 verses 157 through 158 said, My Messiah never goes to cross. He said rather it was Judas. This is how Allah deceived the whole world. That Allah now took the face of my Messiah when the Roman uh, armies come to crucify Messiah. He said Allah now took the face of Messiah and he put it on Judas. And he took the face of Judas, he put it on Messiah. He now right away flew Messiah to his heaven, his paradise, with the face of Judas. Why? The Roman Empire armies now took Judas, who was also having the face of Messiah, and now putting him on the cross and now crucify him. He said, Allah make us to believe this. Actually, they never killed him. This is the nonsense Islam is telling us. Now, that's why I hate Quran. I hate Quran in so many ways. Oh, should I title this part one? Oh, ah, no. Should I title this part one? Oh, my Abba, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. So, according to Quran, Messiah never died. No, they deny five pillars that, you know, save sinners from eternal damnation. Islam denounced it. They deny the deity of Messiah. They also said he's not the son of Yehovah. Allah have no son. And they reject burial. They said Judah was the who killed. So there was no bearer. Three days and three nights signs of salvation. They said there's nothing like that. No bearer. Neither was there a resurrection. So these are the three, these are the five pillars that build unbeliever as soon as you confess. You are saved. Islam disputed. And that is why Sharia law is coming for you to renounce these five pillars. Okay. So now that is why I hate Quran with passion. So now you see what nonsense Allah is saying. The royal law makes it so clear. I think Matthew chapter 10, I forgot the verses, what that. 32, 33, 34, maybe Yahushua said, when well, you deny me before me, I will deny you before angels, I will also deny you before my father, you are not coming to heaven, if you ever deny me in the surface of affliction Revelation chapter 2, make it so clear and you unto death, don't renounce me, Allah said you can renounce so what are we saying, what is was after Joseph Sulley says that make him to renounce Islam on the surface oh, I think I'm going to title this part one, 
that is the only way because i have so much in it how allah also you know recommends someone islam can be having sexual intercourse with a married woman it's in the quran okay how too much muhammad got so much spam and uh, faith said, does the slave cell will go and have sex with another woman? He will carry that body to her. He said, why did he smell it? That, mm, all this nonsense was in him. They said, we found in a, a Mohammed spam all over in his cloth. We're going to read that. We're going to read that. And how Allah deceived everyone to make us, I think, let's call this part one. Because there's never no way I will be able to put all the scriptures, so many scriptures. So let's call it, call it part one. Maybe the other one, can you blend it up? The other one I wanted to do on the Shabbat, I can blend it up. Okay, just a little touch of it. Because there's no way I can do that. I can do this. And there is, this is important for you to know. Now, what was after Jose Slema? Can I say firm? You know, to be known all over the whole world. Can I also say uh, riches? To be a billionaire or a millionaire, three private jets. That, that, one, that one is not a small pekina. Three private jet. No, that is a very wealthy demand. Using dollars in Nigeria. So can I say poverty was after him? Or lack of sufficiency was after him? And uh, 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 that uh, he also want the world to know him. Because Allah said, whatever that is, you know, you know, against you, just renounce him for now. But inside of you, you still know you are a Muslim. But physically, you can become pagan. You know, for a Muslim to become Christian, which means you are a pagan. You renounce the ways of your Allah. You now become pagan. Okay. Now, these are all that was in against Sulema that make him to renounce Islam physically. But inside of him is a Muslim. He's a Muslim. So it would be better we read this. If we are digging into his origin, where he came from, it would be better we read it to the root of the matter. So this is titled part one. So on the Shabbat, I will put out the part two. I hate to do part two, but... As you can see, there is still a lot of scriptures I need to put, a lot of Korans I need to, Quranic verses I need to put, but there is no room, okay? So we are done for now. On the Shabbat, we will dig into why Allah asks them to renounce. If possible, we we'll play some, you know, video from them, okay? How you can lie to your wife. Just let me lie too much. How you can lie to renounce Islam. How you can also lie to two brethren or uh, two sisters that is having a problem with one another. How you can just lie and deceive them. Cor this is in the Quran. We're going to be reading it right from Quran. We I put it already, but we'll dig more into it on the Shabbat. Thank you, Abba Yehua. To you be all praise, honor, adoration. In your mighty name. So this is how far we can go today. I have a limited space. I cannot go more than this. So on the Shabbat, we add more. Mm -hmm. Title part two. So if you want to be set free, you can follow up with the part two. This is the only way we can make sense out of John says nonsense. This is my why only you, only you, only you among millions of Nigeria pastors, only John says in the internet, only him says can do, only him in all kinds of nonsense. He lies too much. Ha! Anyway, we are done.